What if Earth turned into a thunderstorm? Firstly, if Earth turned into a thunderstorm, Earth may be left all alone in the solar system. Hmm. Secondly, if Earth turned into a thunderstorm, skyscrapers could be scorched to ashes by the relentless lightning strikes. Hmm. Lastly, if Earth turned into a thunderstorm, even the largest trees on planet Earth may get reduced to ashes. Hmm. Why is Jupiter stripy? The stripes or bands seen on Jupiter are actually cloud formations in its upper atmosphere, composed mainly of ammonia crystals and ammonium hydrosulfide. The light-colored bands are called zones and they show regions where the gas is rising. The dark-colored bands are called belts and they show regions where the gas is sinking. These bands are believed to be caused by the strong east-west winds flowing on Jupiter. Why does Jupiter flicker? Firstly, the Earth's atmosphere acts like a lens, with different air pockets causing light to bend and distort, resulting in the flickering effect. Hmm. Secondly, when Jupiter is closer to the horizon, its light travels through a thicker layer of atmosphere, leading to more pronounced flickering. Hmm. Lastly, planets like Jupiter appear as disks rather than points of light, which means the flickering effect is less noticeable compared to stars. Hmm. Why is the huh? space black? Simple, because Amsum looks awesome in black. Oh, Amsum. According to a study, the space appears black because the universe is expanding. This expansion is causing the visible light emitted by the stars to stretch out so much that when it reaches our eyes, they cannot detect it. As our eyes cannot detect any visible light, the space appears black to us. Hmm. Moreover, light has a specific speed limit. So, light from faraway stars has not even reached us. Thus, the space appears black. Hmm. Why is Jupiter an outer planet? Jupiter is an outer planet because it's located past the asteroid belt, which marks the boundary between the inner and outer solar system. Jupiter along with Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are together known as the outer planets or Jovian planets or giant planets. These planets share several characteristics, like they are large in size, they are primarily made up of gas, they have low density, and they have multiple moons. Hmm. Huh? Why is Mercury not the hottest planet? Even though Mercury is the closest planet to our Sun, it is still not the hottest planet in our solar system because it has a very, very thin atmosphere. Its atmosphere is made up of atoms and molecules that are too far apart to trap heat from the Sun. Whereas its neighbor, as in Venus, has a thick atmosphere made up of 96.5% carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas that traps the sun's heat. This makes Venus the hottest planet in our solar system, 